Hey Nigerians. Nigerians, please, what is going on? We don't even know if we should direct this to the government, the CB hand governor, or even the banks. Because we understand the fact that um, the CB hand is trying to sabotage some people from uh, burying cash in the burial ground, put, putting cash in the pit, putting cash or keeping cash in the uh, storage, etc. And so that was the reason why they needed to switch the whole note to the new. But Governor Efemili, I don't know if I call that right, I'm from the West, I don't know if I, if that name I call it, I pronounce it correctly. When you know you want to switch uh, the, the Naira note from the whole to the new, why can't we try to create a kind of, uh, of system that works? Because the same rich people that you're trying to sabotage from having access to this cash, they are the one getting it now. What happened to the masses? The masses that are even more than those people are not having access to this cash. The POS, the ATM, the banks is not even epping matters. Before you can withdraw ordinary 50,000, you will be told to pay a, a, a charge of 10,000. People don't even have the opportunity to their own cash. How many people have the mental capacity to be able to bear all this? By the time things like this is, is happening in the, in, the, in the country, people are going to run mad, they are going to go crazy. We have seen a whole family man naked himself in the bank. A woman naked herself in the bank. People are running, Nigerians are running mad. The pain, the hardship, the stress, the problem of Nigeria is even enough for us to bear in the first place before all this happened. So in a situation where you are trying to switch a, a Naira note for over 200 million citizens, why is it that an effective system will not be put in place such that you check the activity of those banks? They are selling this cash to the rich. How many people can afford to pay? You will be charged outrageously for you to have access to your little cash. The market women cannot even go about their businesses. No cash to transact. The Okada riders, the bad, the, the Kakana pep drivers, those who are just doing their little job just to, 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 to put body and soul together, they do, don't even have access to their own cash. What is going on? Why are we being held to ransom? Is it the government that is in charge of this or the CBN or the banks? We don't even know who to direct this to. But please, kindly do something. Nigerians are suffering. Is it not enough that we are going through a lot in the country and even this is happening again? What's all this for crying out loud? The children could not go to school because their parents do, do, don't have access to their own cash just to give to them. Are we supposed to suffer for our own thing? Why are we doing like this to ourselves in the country? Or is it because some people have decided just to have more frustration and to have more pain for Nigerians? It's enough that we are going through a lot in the country and even the switching of Naira notes, a system supposed to have been put in place. We understand the fact that the connectivity and the, 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 the network system of Nigeria is not strong enough to, to be able to manage a cashless economy. This we know. But why are we still doing this to ourselves? We just lost a pregnant woman because her husband was not able to get cash on time for him to, to take care of her. What all these people are dying? All the things we are going through in Nigeria from Boko Haram to Bandit to Fulani, Esme, Maimi, kidnapping, abduction, everything is already going in this array. Even before this issue of notes, of, of switching of hope to new notes, comes. No access to fuel, no electricity, nothing. And even the little cars just for people to take care of themselves, they can't have access to it. Please see behind, try and check the activities of those banks. They are doing worse. They are, they are not helping matters. You see an aged man collapse on the queue. What all these? Please try and tag the targetables. Please tag, let this get to them. We are going to come here and rant. And you see some people going to the comment section, those who have committed de themselves to frustrating Nigeria, they, 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 they have consecrated themselves to frustrate Nigerians. You see them ranting on the comment section. 
Are we not going to come here? Is it not the same place, platform that our voices were heard during the protest? Please tag the targetables. Let them do something. People cannot even do their little business. They can't. No money to send, no transfer is not going through, cash is not, no one is having access to it. The same problem you are trying to solve is not being solved, it's creating more. What all this? Why have we been had to ransom in our home country? Please, is it the government? I don't even know. Whoever is in charge of all this should please repent. People are going through a lot. People cannot even move. They, they cannot move. No access to cash. No access to... You cannot even make transfer. The little business you do now, no, there is no means of pay. So please, what is happening? The masses. We, we the masses, are more than the, these people that are, that are rich. They are the ones buying the cash. So the masses is not even having access. We understand the fact that individuals can do anything within their own jurisdiction, but I think that the system should have created a kind of means that will not allow them to, to make things difficult for the masses. I believe this can, this, something can be done. Please, the government, or is it the CBN, we want to, that or the banks, please do something. And allow Nigerians to at least breathe. This is out, you see, it's getting out of, that's why people are running mad. When you see people naked themselves, you see people are, this is craziness, this is madness, but of course, that, some people, that's, they believe that's their own means of ex expressing their discomforts. Whom are we going to shift this horn? See how people are, are, are running mad, see how they, are, they naked themselves. How do we portray a kind of society that we have to the people in the diaspora and even those who are not Nigerians? Our voices must be heard because no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. We all have equal rights in our country. Nobody should stay somewhere and, and, and buy off all the cash that is meant for the masses. Just the little money that people have worked for, they, they keep in the bank just for them to have access to it. No way. Please, tag, tag the targetables, tag those who are in charge of those, and let something be done for the sake of humanity, for the sake of the little kids, the children, and even the unborn children who do not even have a sin on their neck. We understand the fact that how adults might have done one thing or the other to themselves and so they want to punish each other. But what of the little children, the, the unborn children, who are, those, who are just who are innocent for crying out loud? We cannot continue to bear this. We understand the fact that when we are trying to switch from old to new, definitely there is going to be some phase of transaction of, of transition that we need to, to, to endure. It's normal, but this is getting out of hand. People will kill from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yet no access to fuel, no access to the cash they have been queuing up for. What is happening? We understand the fact that CBN has busted some, some cash to the, to the banks, but do they actually look through or go uh, do a follow-up to make sure that those people actually distributed, distribute this cash to the masses? They are selling it off to the rich. How many people can afford to pay a 10,000 Naira charges on, uh, on 50,000 just to withdraw? This is crazy. Those who don't have POS uh, facility for their business, how do they, how would they transact? Even the POS, the transaction is not going through. You see transaction declined. Why are, why are we doing? What is this? Please tag the targetables. Please do something. Whoever is in charge, please do something. See to the activities of those banks. Let them know that this they are doing is unfair. We need to create a society of peace, a society that everyone will have the right to every good thing. But when we do not provide an enabling environment for businesses to strive for equal rights, for, 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 good, for, for good treatment of individuals, are we going to have a society that is sane? Are we going to have a sane society? 
when some people are being uh, you know cared for in a way that in a special way and some are being you know kept at the back door and treated like outcasts in a country that has a, 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 a constitution that has the right to they are every citizen supposed to have the right to to to, to free living the rule of law is psychosant, human rights is psychosant, constitution is psychosant. Which of these do we have right to as a common man in our country? Please do something to this issue of this Naira note. You want to buy data from your bank. You, you can't even buy data. You can't buy data directly from your bank. You cannot even get a transfer. You cannot, uh, you know, you, you do not have the cash even to buy voucher, ordinary voucher of 1,000 Naira voucher. You don't have a cash to buy it. You try to do transfer, it's not going. Why? What? What is this? For can I, is it the bank that is in charge of this of this thing that is making things difficult for Nigerians or who? Please tag the targetables, tag all the bank managers that you know, tag the CBN, tag the federal government, tag every targetables. Please let something be done and let's have a sane country. It is well with Nigeria. It is well with Nigerians. It is well with. Every one of us, please do something.